another full day of my life as a hospital patient pharmacist. Today's video will be on inpatient psych. I made videos on covering medicine. I made a video on covering the central IV shift. And I made one for the ER pharmacists, especially at night. And I also made one on the central graveyard pharmacists. So for inpatient psych, the hours are 6.30 to 3 o'clock p.m. So the shift is a lot earlier than all the other ones if you watch my other videos. But it's okay, I don't mind it. I love finishing the day early. After the morning, I wake up around 5.45. Wake up, brush my teeth, get my coffee ready, pack my lunch for the day. And I usually head out around 6 o'clock or so. I always stop by um, our office first to get this, the key to the inpatient psych office. So the psych pharmacist, she has her own personal key to her office. Obviously for us floaters, we don't have her personal key. So there's always a copy of her key to access her office for those that float around and cover her on her days off or vacation. And now let's go over my morning routine for when I cover inpatient psych. So first things first, I always pull up my roster. So the thing with um, our psych unit is that we actually have two different psych units. One is for younger psych patients and the other one is for psych patients who are older than 65. So I would run those two lists and check through my roster to see who's new, um, check to see all the new patients. Those are the ones I'll need to interview about their medications and I'll be the one dropping a note on our interview. Next on my list, I would be printing out their medication list. Skim through all of them real quick just to see if there's anything odd or out of the ordinary, any medications that are renal or hepatic adjustments, or if there's any medications expiring that I need to alert the doctors about. Then I'll go through the EMAR and check to see if there's any pending alerts or any pending consults that I need to do for my psych patients. Next, I'll check our Theradoc, which is a handoff program that we use between shifts to hand off things to each other. So I'll look through that, see if any of my psych patients were started on any per pharmacy protocols that I need to follow up on. So that's either Vancos, Heparins, Doax, Warfarin, low molecular weight Heparins. So uh, main thing with the inpatient psych unit is that IVs aren't allowed because it's a safety issue. So if the patients require IV antibiotics or they require IV heparin, most likely they'll be on the med medicine floors and once they're stable, then they can go over the patient psych. So most of the protocols will be either warfarin or doax, which are POs. And at most they would do um, you know, therapeutic Lovenox if the patient really, really needs it. Next on my list, I would check some emails just to make sure there's nothing urgent that I need to address or you know, if there's any crazy shortages that I need to be aware of that might affect my patients. Then I would grab my pager. So um, since I cover inpatient psych, if any of the patients um, have a code blue that's around my area, then I'm responsible for attending those code blues. So in the psych office, we have a code blue box and we also have an RSI kit to bring. I always have 8.35 alarm set because 8.35 is when we have our inpatient pharmacist huddles. So during these inpatient huddles at 8.35, um, each of the specialties would do a quick update. There's always one person in charge of facilitating the huddle for the week and one person to scribe, which they update the Excel sheet as we go through. So usually we go through, you know, surgeries or any issues, ICU, uh, PRC, FBI, psych, ER, etc. So the list goes on. In patient psych, specifically on Wednesdays, we have patient group sessions for patients who are psych outpatient patients. They stop by the VA um, every Wednesdays at 11 to 11.30. The inpatient psych pharmacist actually leads medication talks. So in the past, she would talk about you know, sleep hygiene, um, antidepressants, antipsychotic medications, long-acting injectables, um, it just various topics on medications that's educational for patients. She planned out handouts to bring 
And sometimes uh, that's something that we would have to do too as covering pharmacists. So after huddle and I'm all caught up with my morning routine, then I would go over to the psych unit, check in with some of the nurses at the ward, you know, ask them if there's any potential discharges that they've heard of, let them know that I'm covering for the day just because um, they might not be aware and they might be looking for who the pharmacist is. And then I would interview the new patients that are on the ward. I interview them about their medications, whether which ones they're taking, not taking, if there's any expired meds that are still on their profile, if they're still taking it. Um, I would go through their chart and review and see if all the psych medications that they've taken before in the past and double check with them about the accuracy of that. And I also ask them about social questions, you know, how much they smoke. We provide tobacco cessation as pharmacists. We do have a protocol with that as well. Once that's all done, I go back to the office and finish up my work. Either that be, you know, typing up the notes of all the patients I interviewed and mention what we talked about, or finish up any new consoles that come in. Um, some example of consoles would be some providers who are to start patients on long-acting injectables. So I would need to evaluate the patients, see if they meet eligibility, if they have any exclusion or inclusion criteria, and then I would enter those medications in the for the providers, have them sign it, and schedule when um, medications will arrive and that the nurses can administer it. In addition to that, finish up my protocols, any follow-ups I need to do, and work on the discharges too. Um, for lunch, I would just go whenever it gets calm. Um, usually it's around like 1 p.m. or so. It, I just find a time that it's um, died down and I'm all caught up and not as busy. And I finish the day around three o'clock. And this is one of the things that I love about covering a patient psych. I just love ending my day early. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I like to treat myself after work. I'll just stop by Trader Joe's, browse around, shop, buy my favorite, um, oh, those almond croissants, best thing ever. Or I just treat myself to some Starbucks. Or sometimes I just get excited and just head back home. <laughs> so if I were to head straight back home, I would just get home around like 3.30 or so. Eat a snack and relax a bit. And then at night, around 6 o'clock or 6.15 to 7 o'clock is when I go to the gym with my friend. Sometimes our friends tag along too. After the gym, I head back home to shower and drink my protein shake. Have some dinner, then I just relax the rest of the night until I go to bed around 10 p.m.